Hello. I know what you're all wondering. Why is there a wrapper on your bed? I left that wrapper there just so I could make that joke. <laughs> oh. Anyway, um, today I thought it'd be a great idea to try some things that I've never done before. Such as... Waxing. So I'm a little scared, to say the least, because I have never waxed any part of my body except my eyebrows. And every time I go to get my eyebrows waxed, it hurts the same amount every time. People always says, says, say that it gets better and it doesn't hurt that much over time, but that's not the case for me. So I might be making a really bad decision right now, but we're gonna do it for the sake of trying things for the first time. So here goes nothing. And we're also gonna be talking about some stuff today. I don't really know what, but we're just gonna think of it as we go. So let's get started with these. What is this? Finishing oil? Does that mean I put it on after? Here she is. I'm honestly really scared. Like, I don't even like getting my eyebrows waxed. So how am I gonna like waxing my legs? It's a much bigger part of my body than my eyebrows. Do we need to look at the instructions? It's probably the best. Oh, there's different sizes. So this is like the small side and this is the big side. Okay, let me just separate them because I'm a little scared. <coughs> Okay, so we're just gonna get right into it. I think you're supposed to rub it before, right? We're supposed to warm it up. Yeah, that's probably the case. So I'm gonna talk about some things, some things and stuff and things. One being, I keep hearing about them having like a third season of 13 Reasons Why. My first question is why would you ever do that? Because the first season, you know, they really did have a lot of potential. They, oh, nice voice crack. They did have a lot of potential to make a high school show. They had a lot of potential to raise, you know, awareness for suicide prevention and all that stuff. But, you know, they just have to glorify it like, you know, every other high school show does. So, I mean, why, what could, what could there possibly be in the third season, you know what I mean? I don't know if I did this right. I'm scared. Oh, I think I put it on the wrong way. Damn it! Oh my god, now it's on there. Oh my god. Oh my god, I can't believe I just did that. When do I take it off? Okay, we're just gonna, we're just gonna go for it, okay? Ah! <gasps> Ow! Ew, it's all sticky. Oh my god, what happened? What did I just do? Oh my god. It didn't even work that much. No, it kinda did. Oh my god. I have like, got to be joking. People do this, like, Instead of shaving, what did I get myself into? Oh my gosh! Oh my god, that hurts. But my legs feel nice. Oh my god, that stings. Okay, it didn't do that bad of a job. It feels, it's a little sticky though. So anyway, as I was saying, 13 Reasons Why Season 3, they really just did have a lot of potential. I mean, I think in some ways, it raised awareness for suicide prevention. No, I, no, I retract that statement, it did not. It just made some horrifying scenes that some people will never get over, such as the, um, oh! You know, if you've seen the show, you know what scenes I'm talking about in season one. In season two, I just feel like it got so much worse. It, it, the scenes, I feel like most of that show is for the shock value, like that show just kind of exists for the purpose of shock value. Like it just, they want to start a conversation, but it's not really working. It just, I can't explain it. It's just like, there doesn't need to be that much shock value. I mean, there's a point in a show where you can have, you know, all that bad stuff happen, but I mean, it's just, it's just too much. And then the fact that they had to put like disclaimers Ow. Anyway, another thing that's been on my mind recently, are there any Pixar movies coming out? Oh, be I thought of this because of Toy Story 4 is coming out. And I'm gonna see all these people on Twitter being like, If you're not of the age of 18 or older, you shouldn't be in the Toy Story 4 movie theater. Like the same thing that they did with 
Incredibles 2, like, what? I'm sorry. Last time I checked, Pixar makes kids movies. Like, yeah, I get it. The 90s babies are weird. They just need to relax. It's a kids movie. They're meant for kids. Yes, I understand. I waited ten year, over 10 years for Incredibles 2. I'm not gonna threaten to punch a four-year-old in the head because they weren't around when the first one came out. Like, okay. Jesus Christ. Anyway, what's another thing we can talk about? My hands are really sticky, by the way. Okay. <laughs> oh, and another thing that was ruined for me by 13 Reasons Why is that one song, The Night We Met or The Day We Met by... I don't remember. I don't remember, uh, the, the, I don't remember the artist, but... That song was just kind of ruined for me. I mean, I don't know, it's just, you remember like that one scene, spoiler alert, um, that one scene when Clay was at the dance with his friends, and then, no, this was in season two, yeah, they were at the dance, and then that song came on, because that was like, him and Hannah's song or whatever, and I was just like about to break down, and his friends were like, oh man, he's about to, do you know what I mean? I mean, it's just a really sad song for me, it kind of makes me want to cry every time I hear it. But that's just me. Let's go down memory lane. Y'all remember Hannah Montana? How is Miley Cyrus doing? How is she? You know what I mean? Also, why is Noah Cyrus selling a $12,000 bottle of her tears? Can someone... Oh my god! Can someone riddle me that? Anyway, why, like, who wakes up in the morning and is like, you know what? I'm gonna just sell a bottle of my tears for $12,000 thousand dollars did anyone buy it that's what i want to know what did she has she made any profit on her sale on her bottle of tears riddle me that y'all remember one direction one direction was my entire life i oh my god 2012 was a very interesting time for me because that's when i kind of discovered them did you guys listen to or no watch the seven hour live stream what was it called like 1d day or something that was probably the best day of my life. I was in like sixth grade or seventh grade. I remember this so vividly. My like, and my best friend who used to live across the, or no, not across, the, like a block away from me. She came over because her computer wasn't working. Like it kept lagging on the for the live stream. And I was like, dude, like come over. We're like we can watch it together. I just remember that being such a good day. My legs are sticky. Okay. Well, they ran out of the big ones. I guess I have to use the little ones now. What was your childhood like? My childhood consisted of Wizards of Waverly Place. I Carly was my absolute hero. That show was truly amazing. And they canceled it. I mean, they canceled a bunch of shows at that time. And that's when Disney Channel and Nickelodeon were going under. And you know what? I just found out. I don't know if anyone else used to play this. I only know a couple of people that did. But Vantage or Fantage, Fantage.com, that got canceled. This is Plug, Plug, Penguin, Club, Penguin, all over again. My entire childhood is just like being canceled. What's another one? Small Worlds. I played that game up until like freshman year. Like that's how fun it was. It wasn't like a little kids game. It wasn't like Club Penguin or something, but it was like a little more older than Club Penguin. I mean like age wise, like it was for bigger kids. Small Worlds was such an amazing game. If you, oh my God, if you ever got the chance to play it, it was so fun. But Club Penguin, rest in peace. Club Penguin is gone, but it will never be forgotten. I had a membership on Club Penguin. That's how like that's how much it was like my life. Like I had such like I I had like so many houses. I had like the gingerbread house I think for like Christmas time. I had that. I had like what are those little the little pets called like puffles or something. I had like ten of those. Like I was so bougie. I was so fresh and fun and cool. I remember I got banned a couple times and I had I called like what is it Club Penguin customer service because I was like, please, I have so much like property and land and like all this stuff. Please don't ban me forever. And they gave me one more chance. And then after that, I never really went on it again. And then I realized they're shutting down. And I don't even remember my password, honestly. I tried to log in for like one last time. I think I made an account like the week it was ending, like a new account just to go down memory lane again. I spent a lot of my time on the internet when I wasn't of the age to go on the internet. This is very time consuming. Why don't you just shave? What is VidCon like now? I haven't been to VidCon in such a long time. 
I was such a fangirl. 2014 to 2016 was a very good time in my life. I was such a fangirl. I watched like every YouTuber of that time. Like who was of that time? Tyler Oakley. Oh my god, O2L. Oh my god. When O2L quit, I was so... De I literally fell into like a depression. I was so... Oh my god. I like cried during like the last week because O2L was like these group of um, YouTubers that each guy posted a different video like once a week. Like I can't really explain it. There's like, I don't even remember how many there were. I think there were seven members and each person had a designated day to post a video. Does that, does that make sense? I don't know, but they were my life. It sucks when like a YouTuber you really like just kind of like calls and quits for YouTube. Dan and Phil, oh my God. I still kind of watch them, but like not as much. Oh, I actually met Dan and Phil during VidCon 2016. 2016, that's when I met Dan and Phil. That was probably like the best day of my life. I don't have a picture anymore because I have this new phone now. I have an 8 Plus and my old phone I had many problems with. So like story time. So I had a 6, an iPhone 6 for like, I think it was like 3 years or something and it was fine. I mean, it did its job. It worked. That's really it. But it started to die on me. Like, it started getting terminal. You know what I mean? So, I had so many problems with it towards the end of its life. It would die at like 50% and it wouldn't turn back on unless I plugged it into the charger and then it would like immediately turn back on. And that made me so angry. And then there was to a point where I was like, I lo like, dude, like, I literally can't take this anymore. So we took it into the AT&T store and then they fixed it. Like, they just replaced the internal battery. And I was like, okay, that's fine. It works again. But their problems came back after a while. Like, my screen would pop out. Like, the, like, you know, my screen. Because my battery was swelled. It, it was swelling inside my phone. And sometimes it would just freeze and just, like, not work. So... There was this one unfortunate day where I was getting so frustrated for, with it. Like, like it just wasn't working as a phone. Like, it, it was, like, pissing me off to the, like, absolute highest point. And I tossed it. Mind you, I tossed it. I was on my bed. I was here, right? And then I just tossed it here, and it just happened to hit the wall. I didn't throw it. Like, if you saw what it looked like, it looked like I probably chucked it across the room but the thing is I was like this like I was just getting so frustrated with it. like I knew I wasn't gonna throw it so I just tossed it and I just didn't look at it for a while because I was watching something I guess my tv and then when I picked it back up the whole screen was like the screen didn't break but um it popped out of my phone like my screen like was outside of my phone and so I pushed it back in and it was like this my screen was like black and it was all like distorted like pixelated if I can find a picture, I'll, I'll um, insert it. I don't know, I'm <laughs> At this point, I'm crying, right? Because I just broke my phone, like. <laughs> what other way you can get around that, you know? Because I had so much stuff on there, because I've had that phone for like three years. And I couldn't do anything with it. Like, the, for some reason, my fingerprint wasn't working. You know when you try to do like the wrong fingerprint for a long time, and the wrong password, is, it disables it? So m that phone was disabled like forever. So I had to, first of all, get the screen fixed and then I had to reset it to factory setting. And honestly, I like, oh, before that, before I got it fixed, I had to use my brother's old iPhone 5. So you can only imagine how I felt in that moment in time. Not the greatest. I was actually so mad at myself that I was just, like, I just couldn't like, <sighs> So how's everyone's day been? My day was okay, I guess. I literally have done nothing all day. And I was like, you know what? Let me wax my legs today. Like, just for shits and giggles. Like, I kind of always wanted to wax my legs, but I didn't have the means to do it. You know what's also annoying? You know what also grinds my gears? I don't like it when people hate on other people for liking popular things. Like... What's wrong with liking popular things? I really, you know, I don't really see the point. It's very annoying. Like people think they're so edgy and cool when like they hate like somebody that's popular or something that's popular, like a trend or something. Like, no, you're not cool. Your opinion isn't superior to everyone else's. Like, come on now, come on now. I just found a big one on my desk. So I guess we're gonna use this too. Little ones are not it, chief. And I keep getting my dog hair all over my legs because my legs are sticky. Anyway, yeah, people who think their opinion matters, I don't like those kind of people. 
so there's like a weird part of my leg hair that like it kind of goes a different way like do you know what i mean like leg hair is supposed to go like this way right it grows that way but there's a part of my legs where it kind of like meets down and then some of it comes up like do you know what i mean so i have to like put it diagonal so it just gets the hair i don't know if that makes sense but or why I decided to do this. I was just curious. I wanted to know if the pain was the same as it was on my face. Turns out it's a little bit worse. So if you have anything that you want me to do or try for the first time, honestly, just DM me or comment or tweet at me. Just literally anything, I'll do like almost anything. You know what I mean? Like I'm down. If you were to just like be like, hey Alec, try this. More than likely I'll do it. This school year so far, I'm a senior, I just started senior year, so it's not terrible so far, I guess. It's pretty easy because I only have five classes to worry about, so that's always fun. But I feel like this year is going to be easy. Well, we're pretty much done. Even though it's like a peel one, not the, like the actual wax, like the one that comes in the jar. Even though it's not that, it's still like sticky, but I have a lot. Of these, we'll be selling these on eBay for fifteen thousand dollars a piece. The bidding starts at nine thousand, so go ahead and start your bids now. Anyway, um, that's enough for today. My legs are sticky, but I guess it was kind of worth it. So yeah.